This is a tutorial on how to render and export MP4 files faster, enabling Intel QuickSync and use of hardware encoder for faster export in EDS video editing software. First, check if your motherboard is QuickSync enabled. For this, go to site eds.net slash quicksync in your web browser and search for your processor in the list provided. My processor is listed here and so it is quicksync enabled. Next, go to the BIOS setting in your PC motherboard and see that the internal graphics is enabled. In my motherboard, it is under peripherals as Intel processor graphics. You can see it is enabled. In your case, it may not be exactly like this, but you can find something like integrated video or internal graphics. Save and exit. Now, when you right click this PC, in Windows 10 and see the properties, then Device Manager, you should see Intel HD graphics apart from your main graphics card, NVIDIA in my case. Next, open your EDS and go to File, Export, Print to file and choose H.264 format. And in the dialog box that pops up, you will see that the use hardware encoder option has not yet appeared. For hardware encoding to appear, you have to fake Windows 10 to have a second monitor. This is not a problem for those who have second monitor but for single monitor PCs, you need to create a virtual monitor. In Windows 7, it is possible to set up a virtual monitor without the need of any additional hardware. But in Windows 10, you need a hardware like HDMI to VGA dongle shown here. This item is available in Amazon or your local electronics store for around rupees 300 to 400. This is the back of the PC cabinet. As you can see, my graphics card connects my single monitor through an HDMI cable. Now, connect the purchased HDMI to VGA dongle to the HDMI port of the motherboard. You don't need to connect the dongle to any monitor at the other end. By just plugging in, Windows 10 thinks that there is a second monitor already. Go to Windows Display Settings and you can see Monitor 2 appear. Now fire up your radius again, go to file, export and print to file and choose H.264 as format of export. You will see that during export of MP4 format, use hardware encoder option appears tick. Export your edited timeline and you will see that EDS now exports much faster. 
one of my edited movies of 8 minutes duration rendered in just 3 minutes. One hour of video is rendered in just 15 minutes. I hope this tutorial helps.